Gaming Bolt presents 14 Biggest Misconceptions PC and Console Gamers Have About Each Other. Misconceptions, stereotypes, and plain exaggerations exist about several things in this day and age. That same logic extends to gaming because we all love labels. If you game on PC, then you're this. If you game on consoles, then you're that. So let's take a look at many common misconceptions that PC and console gamers have about each other and see if several of them can't be cleared up. PC gamers have state-of-the-art rigs. Despite the fact that PC games are enjoyed at the highest quality of visuals, another misconception we'll deal with in a bit, it's sometimes assumed that every PC player has a high-end rig for playing the latest games. However, it's entirely possible to enjoy a wide range of titles like Dark Souls 3 and XCOM 2 at medium settings. So relax, console gamers. Not every PC gamer is touting a titan or two. Console gaming is mostly for kids and teens. Among both console and PC gamers, it's assumed that console gaming is mostly for kids. Heck, look at the Wii U. Most believe it's only alive because of families and hardcore Nintendo fans. While there is a sizable audience of adolescent gamers on your consoles, your average gamer is much older. The ESA reported on this in 2014 and noted that 71% of gamers were the age of 18 and over. In 2015, it noted that the average age of the gamer had gone up to 35 years and that 74% of gamers were 18 and over. Breakdowns per console weren't revealed, but console gaming definitely isn't for just kids and teens. PC gaming is expensive. PCs are generally conceded to be more expensive than consoles, but not by much. In fact, it's entirely possible to build a competent gaming machine for less than $500 and that's including 8GB of RAM, a Radeon R9 graphics card, and a 6-core processor on top. Upgrades are a thing, but it's all fairly incremental in the long run. PC gamers only play a few games. Yes, PC players tend to stick to games like League of Legends and Dota 2 the world round, not to mention titles like Counter-Strike GO. However, the range of games played isn't limited to just those alone. And no, we're not talking about Fallout 4 slash Skyrim with mods. A quick look at the current Steam stats page indicates Rocket League, Dark Souls 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, which released for PC last year, and Football Manager 2016 are among the most played games. Yes, some games have longer lasting appeal than others, but to say that PC gamers only stick to a specific genre or game is false. PC gaming is dying. This one will forever remain a rich misconception. According to the past two decades, PC gaming is dying because of piracy, more powerful consoles, less exclusives, unoptimized ports, high costs of hardware, hardware that quickly becomes obsolete, global warming, free-to-play games, etc. Remember that ESA report from 2015? Guess what's the top device most frequently used for gaming? If you guessed PC, then it really wasn't all that tough to guess. Console gamers like easier controls. It's often thought that gamers who stick to consoles do so for the easier controls. This isn't too hard to see why. The most precise aiming can best be done with a keyboard and mouse in shooters, for example. However, more and more complex games like MOBAs and real-time strategy titles are coming to consoles each year, complex controls and all. Consoles are for more mainstream games. Over the decades, consoles were thought to be the one-stop destination for the easier, mainstream games like platformers and fighting games. True enough, if you're going to play Street Fighter, then there are few better options than a controller. That being said, just as many of the more complex genres have headed to consoles, many platformers and fighting games have arrived on PC. Mortal Kombat X and Street Fighter V are good examples, to say nothing of the indie platformer market. PC gamers get all the best features. This seems obvious, right? PC gamers get mods, checkmate consoles. However, this isn't to say that they get all the best features. Not only has timed DLC enabled some platforms like Call of Duty on PS4 and The Division on Xbox One to receive content first, but patches and entire releases can often be delayed just to fit consoles into the schedule. Heck, look at Fallout 4 on PC. Oftentimes, features like mods and survival mode are in the beta phase before they're finalized for all platforms. Kids don't play on PC or consoles. While the average age of a gamer is pretty high overall, both PC and console gamers have this misconception that kids don't play on their platform of choice. At least 26% of players are under the age of 18 according to the ESA's 2015 report. And though PCs are the most frequently used gaming platform, consoles are still a close second. So play nice and mind your language from time to time. 
PC gamers only care about graphics. Yes, there are plenty of PC gamers who only want the most cutting-edge visuals at the highest resolutions and the maxed out number of frames for their games. However, there are also those who make games like Soma and Firewatch, not to mention survival games like Rust and DayZ, a roaring success despite their average system requirements. PC gamers not enjoying enough exclusives. PC gamers could probably point at XCOM 2 and World of Warcraft as their amazing exclusives compared to the Uncharted's and the Halos of the world. However, the exclusivity pool for PC gamers is slightly larger than you'd think. Free-to-play titles like Path of Exile, Ghost Recon Phantoms, and so on are only available on PC. Dito for MMOs like Guild Wars 2 and Wildstar or strategy franchises like Total War. It may seem like consoles have the edge in terms of exclusives, but the PC isn't far behind by a long shot. PC Master Race This is one misconception that PC players have learned the truth about in the worst possible way. Just because a PC is capable of housing more powerful hardware than a console doesn't mean it will always deliver the best possible visuals. The term PC Master Race is completely worthless when you consider optimization issues in games like XCOM 2, or performance glitches and the like in Batman Arkham Knight. Troubleshooting and building a PC is tough. Despite the problems that PC gamers may have with unoptimized games, it's actually not all that difficult to maintain a PC for gaming. You're no longer forced to build a rig by yourself and with applications like Nvidia GeForce Experience, you can have the latest patches delivered without much issue. It's a far cry from two decades ago when you had to be a computer expert of sorts to put one together. No couch gaming for PC titles. Steam has basically put an end to that with Big Picture Mode, but the advances made in living room computers and streaming wirelessly from your PC to your HDTV is significant. The Steam machines may not have taken off in earnest, but you're no longer confined to enjoying PC games at your desk. It's entirely possible to enjoy them from your couch if you so desire. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video and happy gaming!